Greetings. My name is Sebi. Many knows me as Dr. Sebi. And today I am asked to afford you this lecture that you're about to hear. Naturally, when we say afford you a lecture, we should always walk away from that lecture with something that we could incorporate into our lives to make it a little bit stressless. The subject today is healing. But as you and I know that healing has taken on so many vernaculars and so many shades. In fact, there are so many expressions in healing that has become confusing to many. This is why <clears throat> Sebi, a representative of the House of Osama, we have put together a beautiful subject for you today that it would clear all of the misunderstanding as to these many expressions of healing. What we will also see in the journey is that <clears throat> God appears at the very top. But since there has been a disconnection with life, a severance, it's difficult for many of us to know the things that would complement from those that would not. We said that the subject is healing. Well, in healing, we hear about the Ayurvedic. We hear about the yin yang, which is Chinese, the Ayurvedic being Indian. The macrobiotic, which is Japanese. We hear from the homeopathy homeopathic, which is European. We also hear about the allopathic, which is also European. But if we listen carefully, in mentioning all of these philosophies or modalities, one is missing. The one that is missing is the cornerstone that the builders rejected. But it is the one that completes the building. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to say today that you will be acquainted with the cornerstone as far as addressing health and nutrition. When we investigate the modalities before mentioned, we could clearly show that each and every one of them presents us with a substance that instead of complimenting us, they do just the opposite, they offend our biology. We begin with the allopathic that shows that the use of carcinogens. But in the use of carcinogens, we find that they erode cells because they are acid-base. Being acid-base, there is a tendency to disrupt the hormonal flow of the body and causing stress. In fact, it robs us of our energy. We leave the allopathic and we go to the homeopathic. Homeopathy began by a man known as Heinemann. He's from England. Heinemann came out of the same school of thought as Mr. William Sessler, 
and Alfred Binet. These men were biochemists and they did a very good job in analyzing the human body and breaking the body down into a biochemical structure. Understanding that the blood is composed of iron, the bones is calcium, the brain is copper, they break the whole body down and place it into a biochemical environment, which was correct. The problem with Alfred Binet, O'Connor, and this man, Heinemann, is that I have to take a break. I'll be right back. We said that Dr. Heinemann like Mr. William Sessler, who was the forerunner of the science of biochemistry, decided to analyze the body according to the minerals that were missing or deficient would determine a disease, which was again consistent. They said that if iron is lacking in the body, well, naturally, the body would suffer anemia or some state of anemia. Anemia, hypoglycemia, leukemia, sickle cell anemia. But if the body is lacking of calcium, then the bones would be stressed. You present it with rickets or osteoporosis, which is the breaking of the bones cracking of the bones. That was also consistent. Where they failed is that when they decide to use the substance to replace the minerals that is deficient, they used an oxide. An oxide. What is an oxide? An oxide is a rock that you find in the ground. An oxide is what you make steel out of. So we'll explain because this has not been properly explained to the general public. If someone is anemic, the doctor would diagnose and properly assess that iron is lacking. That is consistent. We have 28 years of showing that. When iron is deficient, then you'll be weak, you'll be anemic, you'll be lacking of energy. In fact, your very thoughts are not clear. They cannot be clear when iron is lacking. Because iron is the mineral that conveys oxygen to the brain. Where they made a mistake, instead of offering the iron that is consistent with the human body, meaning that the iron that is supposed to be recommended should be one that has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The CHO chain. That is not found in the oxide state, which is the rock. You see the rock, the iron oxide is what they use to make a bridge with. Steel. The body cannot assimilate a rock. But if we use our common sense and look for a plant that has iron as the predominant mineral, then naturally, common sense could show us that. If this plant that is carbon-based, and the human body being carbon-based, there is affinity. That is called chemical affinity. Because there is affinity, there is assimilation. So we leave homeopathy, understanding 
that that which is offered is an oxide that will not assimilate. As we leave homeopathy and we travel now to the Ayurvedic, which is Indian, we find that in their philosophy, the offering of the Ayurvedic, one of them is highly acid. It offends the kidneys. It crystallizes in the kidneys. This offering is ghee. Ghee is used in the Indian food. It is not my position to criticize the Indian food because I suppose that the Indian food is consistent with the Indians. But for an African, not so. We cannot tolerate lactose because our DNA, our cellular structure, our gene just cannot assimilate lactose. It offends our biology. So we cannot look to the Ayurvedic for the answer for our particular medical conditions because they will be offering us not only ghee, which is an animal product, but it will offer us likewise garlic. When garlic contain an oxide known as allyl, which is highly caustic. It burns cells, it destroys cells, it weakens the membrane. You and I have been told that garlic is one of the oldest remedies on the planet. Garlic is used way back into biblical times. Probably so, and I don't know if that is true. And it may have been so, but it has nothing to do with the African that live in the forest, which will be touched in a minute. Garlic, I use garlic in my inception, my early healing journey, because I was like many, reading the books and claiming that I'm a healer. And in the book, it says that garlic is a substance that would lower the pressure. That is also true. But what they didn't say is that garlic, besides lowering the pressure, it has a tendency to weaken the membrane, to destroy the membrane. I will be right back. Ready? Uh, uh, on the subject of garlic, garlic weakens the membrane and ultimately destroying the membranes. But we are told that it is a good medicine. So we leave the Ayurvedic and we go to the yin yang, the Chinese medicine. I was once interviewed on Channel 5 in New York by the Bill McCreary Report. The McCreary Report on the program was a China, Chinese doctor, Dr. Wu, a very eminent herbalist. He said that in his givings, he said that Chinese people have been using herbs for 10,000 years. They have recorded. I told him that that could probably be so. But that the African people have lived in the forest ever since creation. And that goes into millions of years. So you see, we should not even make a statement that the Africans or the Chinese have been using earth for millions and trillions of years. We want to know that which you are using, is it consistent? with our biology. Is it electrical? Sure, we have to ask these questions. But because we have disconnected, they could give us anything. They could tell us anything. Little did we know 
that 90% of the earth that the Chinese people uses and they would admit to it themselves they are cultivated and what does that have to do with anything it has everything to do with everything when you cultivate a plant it means that that plant is unnatural it is artificial but we not knowing that they are artificial plants and that they are natural one that was made by man and one that was made by God Chinese uses herbs that are hybrid Dong Kwa that's a hybrid plant Golden seed is a hybrid plant. These plants are made. And because they are made, the base has to be an acid one. So, well, we could not look to China for the ills of Africa. Because my visit to China, I saw this, that Chinese medicine are not herbs. Chinese medicine are those same chemicals that are offered to every country in the world. There are people that use this Chinese medicine in China, which are herbs, but they're not curing anything. I once had a patient that had diabetes in New York. This man is named Franz. Franz had a Chinaman as a doctor. He had diabetes. The child was treating France for 18 years. When France came to me, three weeks later, he had diabetes, disappeared. The Chinaman told France to ask me, or to try to get the formula for me, how did I cure him of diabetes? But yet, we are told that Chinese people use his herb for 10,000 years. I have not used herb, not even for 50. But we cure diabetes. So we turn from the yin yang and we go to the macrobiotic. The macrobiotic diet is a diet that came out of Japan about 50, 60 years ago. Dr. Osawa, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it not a fact that he recommended rice as one of the substance? that we should consider in removing a disease he said to eat large portions of rice ladies and gentlemen rice rice is hybrid not only does it contain starch and a high percentage of starch a high concentration of starch Rice contains cyanide. So when we eat rice, rest assured that your mucous membrane would be compromised. Now, how do we put this into a healing package? This rice diet. And I remember I lived in New Orleans with many of my friends was telling me that this man was a scientist and that he recommend rice when rice is a poison the only rice that is made on this planet that was made by God is that one that we call the wild rice so why did we the so-called Negro or the African even elected to look towards Japan for the answer we were in violation of God because when God placed us on the planet he placed everything that we needed right on the continent and now we we'll go into the other modality that has not been mentioned I'll be right back ask our father what dreams are made of some dreams Rice was the last of the 
recommendations that was made to us outside of Africa. So as we travel from the allopathic, the homeopathic, the Ayurvedic, the yin yang, and the macrobiotic, in these five different expressions of healing. We never once heard of an African perspective. And rightfully so, because that was ours to do. But little did we know that we had to journey back home to that place that God placed us to look for the answer. Well, as we traveled back home, we found, yes, there is virtue in what God placed in Africa. So now, we offer you, not only to our brothers and sisters, but to the whole entire planet, the African Biomineral Balance. What is the African Biomineral Balance? The African Biomineral Balance is electric food. Electric food, yes, electric food. You see, God is the answer we said. But since there's so many different expressions of God, we have the Christians, we have the Muslims, we have the Buddhas, we have the Chintos, we have Yoruba, we have a whole lot more. One thing we notice in all of these expressions and philosophies of God is that each and every one of them consumes substance that the Creator did not make. So therefore one could easily conclude that if there is one Creator there should be only one school of thought representing that one Creator. But instead we have many expressions. And the reason for that, we have just seen yesterday. By us indulging in those things that were not part of creation, it divided us from ourselves. Explain it? Of course, you deserve an explanation. When someone consumes rice and beans, milk, cheese, butter, and eggs, by the time that person reaches the age of 30, there's already the manifestation of a disease. Why? The membranes, the mucous membrane has been compromised to the acid food that we've been ingesting. In that breaking down of the cells, the part that suffers first is the brain. The thought pattern changes. Further, there is stress that we are presented with. A high degree of stress. Why? Because we are out of balance. You know, it is like putting gasoline in a diesel car or feeding a gorilla grass no, a gorilla eats grass, but a polar bear eats meat. You cannot give a gorilla the food of the polar bear, which is blood. Then you are violating the very creation of God. Because when God placed a gorilla in Africa, there was leaves. But for the polar bear, he placed flesh and blood. We now ask the question, why are there so many divisions and expressions of God? Well, just think about it. Just think about it for one minute. That the cows in England, when they were given meat, flesh, grind up with the concentrate that they were eating, what happened to the cows? They call it the mad cow disease. The cow was eating cow. 
and he became mad. We are eating cows and we expect to be sane. So could that be the reason? Because God did not make a cow. A cow is a hybrid animal. He's not a product of life. But because we have disconnected, it is difficult for us to even see that that was possible. That an animal could have been made, but of course, it was made through grafting. This we didn't know, like they made an orange, like they made a grapefruit. I will be right back to continue this little conversation. We back on the hybrids now. We left off about the cows not being a product of God, so therefore one should not drink its milk nor eat its cheese. But to know that, one has to reconnect. This is the title of the subject, the reconnection. The African biomineral balance that is responsible for curing AIDS, sickle cell, lupus, herpes, blindness, and many, many, many others, impotence, paralysis, was done because there is an understanding that allow us the privilege to do so, avails us the privilege to deliver to you the quality of healing that we offer today. It comes from the understanding of God. But like we said, many have many interpretations. We're not here to criticize any. But we are here to show that that interpretation that we have of God has given us the privilege to heal many people. The Bible says that the herbs are for the healing of the nations in the book of Genesis. It goes further in the book of Ezekiel. Herbs are for healing and the leaves are for medicine. The fruit shall be for meat. It goes on to the book of Revelation. Herbs are for healing. So we ask the question, if the book that represents God Almighty is states that the herbs are for the healing of the nations, what happened to us that when we got sick we went to get a chemical and injection? What happened to us that goes now to get an injection and a chemical? What is the message that we are sending? What is it that we are saying? My brother, he preached for many, many, many years. When he got sick, he didn't go to the herb that God talked about in the Bible. He went to a doctor. My brother has been buried 15 years. I'm not saying that he was wrong to make the decision. It was the decision that he had to make based on his interpretation of God. Well, I, being a representative of the house of Osama and the family of Osama, I could hardly even think that I would violate God Almighty. That one has to be more than insane to even think that we're going to get away by violating the Creator. No. At Osama, we respect everything that is made by creator at creation and we avoid that which was made by man and this is the key to the understanding of healing someone of a disease yes in the year of 1985 i was invited in new york to go on this station known as wlib 
I told the public of New York that they should not eat carrots or drink carrot juice. Well, everyone that was a healer in New York and also the recipients, their patients, would be angered at me. But I could understand their anger. Of course I have to understand their anger. The anger is precipitated by stress placed by the same carrot that they're drinking and the tofu that they're eating. But we understand that 400 years of feeding a race of people meat that were not supposed to eat meat has taken a toll on the race, on the gene. And this is precisely why we have to reach a level in the art of healing to be patient, to be loving, to be understanding. Because we came out and still in a state of disease. And that applies to Dr. Sebi. I am a product of disease. I am a product of a mother and a father that ate nothing but garbage. Was I not supposed to be born with asthma? Of course it was given to me before I was born. And this is happening to the race today. So we find that because in 1985, no one knew that carrots was a poison. How many more things are there that we don't know about? You see? God is the answer. If we knew the things that God made from the things that man made, it would be very easy for us to differentiate or to separate. If we could differentiate, we could separate. But if I put items in front of someone, even though they may have a master's degree or a doctorate degree, it means absolutely nothing. Because they don't know what's supposed to go in their mouth. They may know all sorts of matters in philosophy. Well, I am not a product of philosophy, so therefore I didn't give Benedict Spinoza or Plato or Aristotle or Diogenes. I didn't give them a second of my time because I knew that they didn't have anything to offer to an African. And especially something to enhance my health that would make me happy with myself. That does not come out of Plato's Republic. That could only come from an environment that was made specifically for, for us. Like the polar bear. You cannot place the polar bear in Africa, in the Serengeti Plain. Of course not. He would die in a fortnight or less. So therefore he was placed in Alaska, showing us that there is environment and food that is consistent with a cellular group. So therefore now we come to the critical question, why are we divided? Why can I love a Muslim and a Christian, a Buddha and everyone else? Why can I do that? No. I was told by someone in Atlanta, Georgia just recently that I had to take one side or the other. Well, if I'm supposed to take a side or the other, then I would take the side of my foreparents. They were Africans, and I am an African. And because I took that position, I could see clearer. I could extrapolate from Africa those components that have me as healthy as I am today. And I am not as healthy as I could be, or should have been, but I'm healthier than 35, 37 years ago when I had asthma. I was impotent, I had diabetes, I wore glasses 37 years ago. So I'm 67, I should be 37 years sicker. But no, I happen to be not as sick. And thanks to God. But our understanding that led us to this God journey, we had to go back to Africa. We had to go to Africa because Africa holds the key. Whether we want to or not, Africa holds the key. 
In the year of 1987, your brother and servant, Dr. Sebi, was arrested because he claimed to cure AIDS, sickle cell, lupus, herpes, blindness, diabetes, and many other diseases. Dr. Sebi understood that for them to embrace what I said, their understanding had to transcend that which prevails. Because we are a product of the quantum theory. We believe in a philosophy. We don't believe in reality. We don't even know what that is. Because when someone places a glass of celery juice in their mouth, then they need to be questioned. Why? Because celery contains the highest concentration of inorganic sodium. So you see, again we show that we are not wrapped tight as we think that we are. But thanks to God, the message is here. The message of healing is here. Why? Because Haja, that had a hole in her heart when she was only six months of age, was cured. Now Haja is 15. Mecca is in Atlanta, Georgia. She had a tumor on her frontal lobe and she was blind from age 8 to age 11. She's no longer blind and she's seen. We have a killer Stroud who lives now in Minnesota. She had sickle cell anemia. She was cured. And we have Mr. Stringfellow from Atlanta, Georgia that had diabetes. He was cured in seven days. So ladies and gentlemen, I could go on and 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 I could produce diagnostic sheet in Honduras where people was killed of AIDS in less than two months. To you, it would be a miracle, but to us, it's common sense. What do we do? We adhere to that strict path that God designed for us. We're not as strict as we would like to be because we live in America where it gets cold. Right there, my biology is being offended. You see, we are you, here with you, with the same poisons offered to you is offered to all of us. But what we are saying is that if that which we embrace far as healing is concerned, then the rest of the healers in the world, not only America, but in the whole entire planet, If they had embraced God the way they think that they are embracing, they too would cure AIDS, sickle cell, lupus, and the rest. It's not that it is difficult. It is just that we are not focused as we should because we've been eating the meat for 400 years. So here we have it. Uric acid, meat, carbonic acid, Starch, lactic acid, milk, cheese, butter. So here we have it. Carbonic, lactic, and uric acid. Eating away on our brain for 400 years, and then we gonna say that we are wrapped tight. No, we are not wrapped too tight. We've been violators. This is why I knew that many people that used to listen to the Psyche Network that was supposed to get all this spiritual guidance, they came to us later. Stress with a disease. Stress because of emotion. We know why. They will remain stressed regardless to your Psyche prescriptions. You are eating the wrong food. But if we stop eating the food that is given to us today by all of these different philosophies, we would not need the Psyche Network. We could see. We would be able to see because our nervous system would be at ease. We could project. Then, the better part of it is this. The love that one needs to have for self would arrive because there is peace. Love is not going to enter when there is chaos. 
And chaos only comes in when there is acid, when there is an acid substance offered to the human body. But once the acid substance is removed, peace enters. And now you could say, well, I'm in love, and I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, this journey is not a difficult one. It may be a tedious one. But we were compelled to make this tape, to bring this information to you. Because there should not be any reason why, like we said, for the rest of the healers not to be able to heal the diseases that they are trying to heal. And I know that all of them are doing it with love. They want to heal. But when you use aloe vera, you use comfrey, you use vitamin A and E, well, you're not going to reach the goal that you're pursuing. The goal line would be receding faster than you could run because you're offering all of these substance that has no place in human biology. Yes, the African biomineral balance offers that which is electrical, that which complement that which has not been offered. And this is precisely why we are curing the diseases that you find it so difficult to believe that we have accomplished. But yes, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, it was easy for us to show the Supreme Court of New York that yes, the African is capable of delivering like all true history. Benjamin Banneker, George Washington Carver, Elijah McCoy, Charles Drew, and now you have the House of Osama which is addressing disease from a cellular and a DNA level. This has not been done for us. All of these modalities and philosophies, none of them considered genetics. Because they did not consider genetics, this is precisely why we are sicker now than we have ever been. Because as we look towards Africa, we would find that the people that live in the forest that were our ancestors, there were no hospitals, there were no pharmacy, there were no medicines, there were no jails, there were no policemen, there were no judges, there were no money, but there was happiness, there was life. Those people were the strongest when they were brought here. How could they be that strong? Because they was in direct compliance with God. There was no rice and beans. There were no tofu. Because many people think that tofu is a natural food. Well, did you know that tofu was made in England? The bean is called soy. That bean was made by a Benedictine priest. His name was Grigor Mendel. He made the beans. That bean contains starch, an inorganic silica. When you eat tofu, you're eating plastics. It is tofu, it is soybean that George Washington Carver used to make plastics. So let us ask ourselves the question, how could we use a substance that is used to make plastic offered to us as a nutrition? That is the disconnection. The connection comes when one turns to God and begins to ingest electric food. And that is what we offer at the house of Osama electric food to electrify the system and because of that we were arrested and tried and thanks God because we were consistent and we continue to do so we had to win our case yes brothers and sisters healing is here but healing brings love 
And if healing was being offered, there would not be these various houses, such as I'm a Muslim, I'm a Christian, I'm a Buddha, I'm a whatever. No, there would be love. That's all. But it can't be because I'm eating that which divides me. So if it's divide me, that gives me rheumatoid arthritis, I cannot even reach for a glass of water and bring it to my mouth because my fingers are paining me. I'm rheumatoid. So between my brain that says you need the glass of water and my hands to bring it to, to my mouth, there is division. So if acids could divide me within myself, what are the chances in dividing me and you? They are much, much greater. Crime is very high, not only in America, among us, in Africa. I just left Africa, and I saw that the division that exists in Africa among tribes is so great that if I can't even marry a house if I'm a Yoruba, but when I'm, married, when I'm in love with someone, I didn't ask that some sister, what tribe are you a member of? No, she liked me, I like her, we get married. That cannot happen in Africa. You have to belong to the same tribe. So now we ask ourselves the question, are they wrong? No. Are we wrong? No. The same seed of dissension was planted in both of us. The diet that we are eating is undermining us. So now we are coming to a close, showing that we should not be offended we should not be embarrassed. We should not be ashamed of the things that has happened that have happened to us in the past. They were supposed to happen. If that which took place in our lives, our experiences was not supposed to happen, it would not have happened. But since we say that everything is in divine order, yes, we're going to live up to the very letter. Everything is in divine order. Well, if the black man was not supposed to be in America at this time in history, he would not be here. And if that person that we call the white man, if he was not supposed to go to Africa and bring us here, that would not have happened either. That is like writing history without mentioning Hitler. I cannot agree with what Hitler did. But I can't disagree either, but he was part of this historical chronology. We could take the same position against the white man. That you brought me here and made me a slave, then I should be angry at you. But no, that was supposed to happen. Now, the message of healing is here. That was supposed to happen. So I'm saying, since this message is here now, it behooves us to adhere to this message because this message is godly. Yes, brothers and sisters, the message is here because there's evidence, there's surmountable amount of people that would give testimonies as to that they were cured, tumors in their breasts, passing tumors from the uterus, insanity and the rest. So we ask you, not to believe what we say, because life is not based on belief. Life is based on what you know. And the fact of the matter is, we are not in love anymore, simply because we're not eating the foods that were designed for us. So therefore, we are left vulnerable to the discretion of others. And in that vulnerability, anger is the result. This is why when I heard that Malcolm Grandson killed his wife, that was not supposed to be something that we should think was so awesome, so awful. The boy was already programmed, like all of us are programmed to do such a thing. He's not the first, and he will not be the last. It is the acid that prevails, that compels us to act in an uncivil way. So yes, we are happy to know that there is an institute and there is a house known as Osama, 
that is addressing the diseases that they claim are incurable and that we are able to reverse those pathologies and that we will continue to do so because it behooves us to return to the point of departure if we are lost. And I thank you very much.